Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Akita Poyo and I'm back again with another Sims 2 video. So in this video, I'm just showing you guys, um, I guess, somewhat of a rags to riches concept where I purchased a home for my Sim who's going to be a chef and I quickly realized that upon trying to furnish furnish the kitchen for downstairs which is where the guests will be um i ran out of money <laughs> so i just tried selling one of the counters to make way for my sink so that the sim can wash their hands be hygienic and serve the people within his mini restaurant uh, the name of the sim is jason rickian and he has a cute little golden retriever doggy that he takes care of um, the house or the home for the sim is going to be upstairs um, I kind of did like a quick makeshift of the upstairs and I wanted to add like a little balcony but as I said I have no money <laughs> so um, as a result I just decided to try and deal with the basic necessities for the sim um, talk to the people that uh, came to visit my sim in the neighborhood and then I ultimately decided that I wanted to try and do um, a dig for treasure kind of approach but also in the video you're gonna see where I'm trying to like make food consistently for my sim because he needs to build up his cooking skill in order to be a really successful chef right <laughs> so in this first instance I think I selected lunch meat sandwiches just something simple to like wet his palate you know um, let him feel like he's successful from the get-go so he doesn't like you not know, get discouraged um, and then afterwards um, just have the same practice proper hygiene with regards to the plates and such uh, downstairs looks so bare but yeah here's where you can see me actually like starting to dig for treasure thing uh, starts off with a treasure map which is pretty good um, I think initially I was wondering like what the price was but I think the price came to like 400 something simoleons um, which is a pretty good start for my sim not much of an issue uh, uh, the items that you can get from digging you can get like a treasure map you can get like bones bones actually still sell for money or you can give it to your dog um, there's also rocks lots and lots of rocks that you can also still sell for money or you can have it as a decoration piece um, there's a few others but if you stay tuned into my video you'll find out what the rest can be <laughs> um, so Essentially, downstairs is going to be a very decent um, establishment. I want to have like a small section for the bathroom and uh, the rest for persons coming and going and like they want to dine at the establishment. Um, by the end of my exploration with this kind of concept for my sim, I've deduced that it's probably not best to have a restaurant at the sim's house, probably outsource it somewhere else but i'll talk about that in more in depth in another video um here you can see the little golden retriever in the background just chilling on his bed um i guess i decided to let them stay didn't tell them to like get out of my my space because they're not really intruding in my space or anything like that um i think he's making yeah my sim is making spaghetti and meatballs um i think he's level two cooking skills so he should really master this yeah he'll be completely fine if anything I have like a smoke alarm in case he tries to burn down the place like my other sins <laughs> uh, let's see yeah my sims tend to like get distracted from time to time I gotta nudge them and be like resume cooking you know you can't just sit there and let the flies try and get the food all right so here he is doing his best and uh, he he burnt the food okay yeah um. <laughs> there's not really much I can do for that guy but he's still gonna have to eat I also noticed that there was like a puddle to in the bedroom which led me to believe that maybe I didn't add like a roofing aspect for my sim um, the 
because there's no other way that I'd have a puddle in there unless the dog decided to like um, let loose <laughs> which I highly doubt because I didn't see at any point where my where the dog did that um seeing as I don't want to waste any of my ingredients in the fridge I just decided to let him eat I don't think he'll be sick from it if he does then I'm really sorry uh, decided to rearrange the bone toy so that he doesn't have my my dog doesn't have a huge problem with other dogs trying to chew up his dog toy uh, there's a lot of supernatural creatures in Sims 2 this is one of them it's classified as a werewolf right so when you look into those eyes you can definitely see the, the menace the terror I actually have never had any of my sims actually interact with this dog I don't fully know what a world does in this game but I just know that I want to stay away from it for now it's like that the werewolf and the vampire I want to stay away from um, what's his name mr. I didn't catch it but he's just calmly walking off the lot I think he was trying to wait on my sim to like come outside before it lunges you know yeah it's pretty scary <laughs> yeah um i didn't show the aspect in the video but that dog is rolling in something of its own <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna have to let my my sim clean that up really quickly all right so here's where you can see another treasure which is a treasure chest and <laughs> um for some odd reason, the game has decided to make me a lucky person and give me a second treasure chest and they're both valued at like $5,000 simoleons. Now that is a lot of money in this game, to be very honest with you, it's a, it's a huge deal, right? So I decided since I'm getting so lucky with the treasure chest, maybe I should try and dig again in the same spot, but you know, life isn't always about luck <laughs> um ended up getting a rock decided to try again because maybe you know it was just a goof but i still got a rock you know at least the game's consistent you know all right so <clears throat> my yeah i ended up getting like a treasure map which is still a good find um if you try and dig uh, like too much you end up with um what is it you end up with a burst pipe and there's no other way to clean up a burst pipe other than to just fill the hole that's basically it um you can also get uh, other sculpture related items like the silver item that you guys just saw yeah you can get that and that works out for you if you want to sell it or if you want to keep it and of course when there's a spill on grass you definitely need to mop up the spill on the grass not leave it alone just mop it up <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why they made that an option but you know um, here's where you can see that I'm selling everything I wanted to keep one of the treasure chests because it's so nice it's glowing and everything but I was advised that there's a possibility where the burg the burglar can come in and before the police get to him or her um, they just swipe the item and I've had my running with the police in this game and there are cases where my stuff is swiped the police come police gets their butts like handed to them and uh, the burglar just walks off with the items so you know I just wasn't going to risk the five thousand dollars and I just decided to sell it <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching guys